in the middle of the day, it turns into night. That's what happens when the moon is perfectly aligned with the sun to block the sun's view from parts of the earth. A total eclipse. Just coincidentally, the moon and the sun are the same size. So if the moon gets in front of the sun, the moon can actually block the sun's light. And that's called a total eclipse. The eclipse is set to cover the majority of the United States on Monday, April 8th. A 115 mile wide zone spanning across the states will experience the total eclipse. The, the sun happens to be 400 times larger than the moon, but also 400 times further away. And so during a total solar eclipse, the moon completely covers the sun. The remaining parts of the country will experience a partial eclipse. Astronomer and National Eclipse Task Force member Andrew Fracknoy says scientists have known for years the exact moments this eclipse will take place. An eclipse is something we can predict now a thousand years in advance. We can tell you to the second when the eclipse is going to occur on April 8th. So what can we expect in the DMV for solar eclipse coverage? We're not in the path of totality, but we still should experience nearly 90% coverage of the sun from roughly 2 p.m. to around 4.30 p.m., with a peak coverage point around 3.20. So be sure to grab a pair of solar eclipse glasses before the event. They'll keep you safe when viewing the eclipse. If you're in the DMV, you should not at any point look at the sun without eclipse glasses. Whenever any part of the sun is showing, the intense light of the sun can damage your eyes. Eclipse glasses are available in planetariums, libraries, science centers, and stores across the country. But get your glasses quickly, because this will be the last eclipse spanning over the United States for a couple of decades. And this eclipse is the last one that's going to cross the United States until the year 2045. So it's something that I, you know, really recommend for people once in their lives. Ricky Podgorski, CNS-TV.